Hey there, Mark Sanderson here, also known as Script Cat, with my weekly tips, tricks, and tactics to help you survive as a working screenwriter in Hollywood. So let's cut to the chase and get right to the action. Today I'm going to be talking about the spec screenplay. Now, I've done this before. When I first started writing, I thought that every spec that I would create would sell, even my first one. Um, I was humbled after the fact I realized that you're going to have to write a number of screenplays, some bad, some good, that are not going to sell. In fact, most probably will not sell, but they will open the door for a job uh, writing a screenplay on assignment. I just finished an assignment, uh, screenplay assignment last night. I turned in my, my script and it was my 13th paid assignment and I've only ever sold one spec in my career, but that opened the door for assignment work, which is the actual bread and butter of working screenwriters. It's very rare to sell a spec, and you won't be making a career on selling spec after spec. You'll be hired by producers for assignment jobs. So you can't think that every spec you write is going to be the one. You have to think it's one of many. It was my fifth screenplay, my fifth spec, that actually sold. And it was a tough sell because it was a World War II uh, period piece and it was uh, a story on the home front of the United States with four 10-year-olds as the protagonists. Now, how many studios would make that movie? So you start to narrow it down. Maybe one, maybe two. If, it's, if you send it to the studio and they don't buy it, where are you going to go with your project? So it was a very narrow uh, subject matter and genre for that particular film and that's why it took uh, six seven years to find the right producer bumping around town it wasn't an easy sell now if you write a, a genre picture that Hollywood is not making uh, and or that this year you have to look at what was successful if Hollywood uh, if the genre picture that you're writing now bombed it's pretty much dead in the water it, it may be a writing sample but it's not going to sell. So you have to be aware of what the marketplace is dictating and what's selling and what isn't. Now that's not to say that you shouldn't write your spec, uh, you know, write things that you're interested in, but I think that what you write about is as important as how you write it. Now I never used to think about that. I used to just come up with an idea and chase Hollywood's you know, giant studio structure and run after writing these big budget movies when I was an unknown screenwriter and I would continuously be disappointed when the feedback would come back or, it, or I kept hitting that wall. I couldn't get over the wall to the right people. I said, well, you know, this is a good script. What's wrong? What's wrong is what I, I didn't have the concept of what was going on. You know, I was worried about how to write but not the other aspect of what am I writing about? So if you stop chasing the big giant tentpole movies um, when you write your specs, you could sit down and write something that's very heartfelt, and that's what my movie was. It was a heartfelt, coming-of-age story, but yes, it took many years to find the right uh, producer. And so that's not to say that your script won't, but, but I hate to see writers continuously be disappointed and come up against that wall when they're not thinking in the bigger picture. The spec you're writing has to be an opportunity that you open a door with. It's not going to sell, but don't be disappointed about that because that's the reason that we sit and write spec screenplays, to show our talent, to show our ability. And then once it opens that door, and that's not to say that we shouldn't continue to write specs. I hardly write a spec anymore because I don't have the time. I'm too busy actually getting paid to write assignment jobs. But I do write you know, a spec here and there, and I still have specs that are viable but I'm really too busy to sit down and write a spec right now unless I really, really love it. And you're, you will be in that position too once you start a career. So um, my point today is about spec screenplays. Don't think of the one you're writing now as the one. It cannot be the end all be all that you, that you hold your, your hopes and dreams on. You, you, know, you, you have to sell the spec because you must make the house payment or you hate your job and you have to sell the spec to get out of the job. It's a disaster if you think that way. It's only going to create anxiety. Write the spec, detach from it, and just realize that it's not the one, it's one of many. And you're going to have to write many specs that do not sell. And even when you, uh, you start to do assignment work, I've been paid for many assignments that are in development hell. They never went and on to being produced. That's not my fault. I have no control over it. 
but the, the key is to stay in the game and get paid as a screenwriter if you want to work in the commercial Hollywood arena. So those are my tips for this week. Join me on my blog over on WordPress, my blank page. I'm celebrating my four year anniversary today. So it's kind of a big event. Um, check out my website, fiveo'clockblue.net and there'll be more information on there about my screenplay consulting services and also my new free app from Yap called Screenwriting Guru. There'll be the link there so you can download the free app and follow me on Twitter, at ScriptCat, for more tips, tricks, and tactics. And as I always say, keep screenwriting because if you stop writing, you never will have any chance at success. Take care. We'll see you next time.